Well, good morning, everybody. It is 20 after 8. I am sleeping in later and later every day on this mattress. It is so comfortable. I woke up at like 5 and uh, took care of business and went back to bed. And it is now after 8 o'clock. Okay, uh, let's get up, get a bowl of cereal on us. You go work. Oh, that guy. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Go to work. Yeah, my socks didn't dry at all last night. Well, a little bit, but not at all last night. I took my towel and my shorts inside, though, so hopefully they dried. All right, let's get up, get breakfast, and... Uh, Get to painting. That's what we're doing today. More painting. Joshua says hi. Oh. So when you hike, uh, a lot of times you end up you know, with wet socks. I always cut, I do three pairs, so um, it normally wasn't an issue for me. But I pulled out a pair of socks to wear over this morning, yesterday. And I set them on with my shoes so that when I got up, I'd be ready to go. Well, I just put them on. And they are wet. They're damp. Because of how humid it is in here. 87%. The humidity is what kills me, guys. It's not the temperature. It's humidity. All right. But that just feels funny. It's like, I haven't been hiking. Why are my socks wet? And they were out of the cover yesterday. I'm going to have to go somewhere and dry this place out. It's going to be so moist when I leave here. Okay, let's have breakfast and get to work. All right, we're making a fancy lunch. Just used our backpacking, a uh, backpacking stove. It's not the one I like. My one died and the other one's buried, but this one do, does for here. Making a fancy ramen, we added carrots and uh, corn. All right, so we're painting in the bedroom today. And this is a good lunch. Cheap, easy, but hey, on trail, this would have been a great deal to have fresh carrots and corn in here. Added a little too much water, I think, but that's all right. All right, we're just going to let that seat for a while while I continue the painting. And then uh, in between strokes, we'll come over and take a bite or two. That's my exciting lunch. Ramen cooked on a very fancy stove with a backpacker stove. So, yep, that's it. Get rid of the extra water. I don't need all that. Totes, tokes, titanium pot. Great for backpacking, camping, or just making ramen in a fancy kitchen while you're painting. All right, let's get back to painting. Well, all right. Well, for today, we got the bedroom painted. So, of course, with the caulking on the ceiling, I have to re-go and 
do another edge on the ceiling. With, when I do the ceiling paint tomorrow in the other room, I'll come in here and tape this off and make that edge a lot better. With the caulk, it just kept running up when I was trying to cut in. But, oh well, we'll fix it tomorrow. Everything else in the bedroom is done. Well, guys, day's over. Bedroom looks pretty darn good. I need to redo the top edge because we caulked all the joints on the beams. It's they're not square; they're curved. So that when you're trying to cut in, the the uh, brush doesn't follow a nice straight line, and it just doesn't look as good as I want it to. So tomorrow, when I'm painting the ceiling in the living room. I'll just run tape up there and make it a nice straight line. Look a lot cleaner. Everything else looks fine, but I don't like that. But uh, we're under a thunder, or tornado warning till 11 o'clock tonight. So this van could be rocking and rolling later. Hopefully not, because I'm under a big two big trees, one right there and one right in front of me. That wouldn't be very good. But a thunderstorm looks like it could be here any second. After that, I see on the radar. I don't see much about at all. But never know. They can pop up. It's so hot and humid. May have to sleep inside tonight. I'm not sure. That bed is so comfy, though. I don't want to. I want to sleep in here. Oh, but I'm gonna eat my sandwich. That's all I have for dinner. I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm not cooking in here tonight. Flies. They're everywhere here. They bug you to death. I'm going to eat my sandwich. Figure out maybe what we could talk about. Because you know me, I'm just going to watch YouTube videos tonight. Relax. And eventually go to bed here in a few hours. It's okay. We'll talk to you after I finish my sandwich. Got him. Well, good evening, everybody. Day two of question and answer, I guess. Thunderstorms keep running through every, you know, little while. I'm going to try to relax for a little while before our next one comes through. But uh, two questions have come up quite a bit lately. One of them, my table with this string. Everybody says I should put it over here. I can be careful that I don't trip on a string going in or out of my van. I got plenty of room. But if you put it on this side, you've got to sit in front of the doorway. Then if you want to go in or out, you have to move your chair. If you're with somebody else, they want to go in and out, you have to move. This is the most practical place to put it. Um... I know a lot of people like the, the drop-down legs and stuff. I thought about something like that. And maybe I will eventually go to that. But I like the string idea. It's adjustable where a leg really isn't. And I, I would kick a leg. If there was a leg going straight down, I would kick it. If there was a leg underneath here going to the step, I would probably hit it with my knee. So I think that's the most, makes the most sense for me. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. The other question. Questions about my diesel heater. Why? You got the wrong one. Should have did this. Should have did that. Um, why did I go with the one I did? Everybody I've met on the road traveling, you know, that I've chit-chatted with long enough to, like, ask them questions about, you know, hey, what do you have? What, you know, what, what, what's this? What's that type of thing? Everybody had a problem with one, and they loved the other. 
and you talk to the second person, it would be the exact opposite. A third person would have two completely different, you know, but it was always, it didn't matter if it was one of the high dollar, what are they, the S-bar heaters or, you know, the, the like thousand dollar ones, or they were cheap Chinese models. They all had the same issues at some point with them. They failed, they smoked, you know, whatever. Now, I know a lot of times, a lot of the, the heaters could be fixed just by taking them apart and cleaning them. You know, it's a combustion chamber. Stuff gets gooped up. But this one, it's a Silvel 8 kilowatt. It was cheap. The shipping time was fast. You know, I, I didn't plan to be here this long. Um... Somebody said I should have got a turret one, that these these ones with the two pipes fail all the time. I've heard I've heard horror stories about the turret ones as well. So, you know. I don't know. And if you put a turret in, you have a hole that's like, I don't know, it's like four and a half inches or something like that. I can't remember. I have two one and three-eighths maybe holes, sealed them up with high temp uh, sealant, highest out there I could find. Hopefully it works. If not, we'll figure out something else. But yeah, those are the two biggest problems I've, or questions I've been getting lately, like, like today, yesterday, whatever. But again, I'm not even going to fire that heater up probably for couple months um you know i don't want the diesel to sit in there diesel can go you know bad pretty easy i mean you can put the conditioner or whatever in it but i just don't want to have the diesel in the car until i need it so yeah that's uh, those are two of the bigger questions and you know thanks for all the supportive comments i get i get some of those too those are nice Breaks up the monotony of, of why I did what wrong and everything else, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. Oh, gosh. I, might, I must have killed a thousand flies in this van. They're bad out here on the farm. I thought they were bad in Arizona. They're bad here. I just sat in there for a minute. <clears throat> I must have killed 25. But there's... You know, and as soon as you kill them, they're more. They, it's like they take a number and wait at the door. One dies, another one comes in to take his place. It's funny. Ah. So, yep, still here on the farm, obviously. Going to be here at least for a few more days. Uh, in a couple of days, it's going to be almost 100 again. I mean, it's... It drops down to like 86 today, and then it goes right back in the 90s, but it's going to be like 97, 98, a little warmer than it has been. So I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, something in my throat tonight. So I don't know if I want to stick around for that stuff. I mean, I'm working inside the house, but <clears throat> another two days. Should have the living room done. Well, he wants to try two coats. I don't know. A couple odds and ends I know I could go out for right now. Fix the bedroom ceiling. Not sure. Like I said, I am getting uh, itchy to go. Itchy to travel in this thing. I enjoy sleeping in it. Of course, when I get to where I'm going, I'm probably going to have to just get a job, and then it's going to be basically the same thing. Every, anyways, we're going to work for eight hours and go to sleep. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. So I'll keep making these videos. I know they're not very exciting, but at least you get to see what I'm up to, what I've accomplished. Find out my funny questions and concerns. So, 
I was trying to think if I had a funny hiking story, but I really can't think of one right now. I mean, I can think of all kinds of funny ones. I... Okay, I'll tell you one. So we're going into a place called uh, KOA of Acton, California. Me and a friend of mine, bartender is his trail name. We hit, we get a ride with a, a camp, a local camper, into town and pick up whatever we you know we want. And I, they, they had steak rib, these big, huge ribeye steaks on sale. Oh, they were great, well, regular price, but they were cheap for you know anywhere else. I don't know why they were cheap in California. Heck, everything's expensive in California. But they were they were extremely cheap, like inch inch and a half thick. You know, big round ribeyes, uh, basically like for 12 bucks. I mean, it was like $9, $8 a pound or something. I said, man, too bad Nettles, you know, do you think Nettles would like a steak? And he's like, no, she really doesn't uh, eat meat very often. I'm like, oh, well, you know, oh, well, we don't have to get them. So we get ride back to the campground. They had a special PCT hiker's place every year. And I mentioned it to Nettles, and she's like, oh, I could kill for a steak right now. So I asked bartender, I said, hey, you want to see if everybody if everybody wants one and, you know, see how money. So I thought, you know, for 20 bucks, we can get a steak, you know, salads, paper plates, you know, everything you would need. Charcoal, lighter fluid, and probably and even a ride into town with a Uber. So it turns out like 18 or 20 people wanted a steak. So you know, I'll get 20 bucks from everybody. Got, got a Uber. Of course, the woman didn't speak English. Luckily, another friend of mine speaks Spanish. And he said, well, they want to take you to take them to town. And then they'll pay you cash on the way back for the return trip. So she agrees, you know, and she's going to wait. We go get the steaks, pay her, pay her for the the ride in, and we pay her more for the ride back in cash. Then my credit card got charged for the ride back in cash again. She double billed us. But everybody's steak turned out wonderful. Everybody was happy. Everybody wanted it a different way. Everyone was perfect. But the funny part of the story is, you know, we stayed in the tents the one night. It was like 10, 15, I think it was 15 bucks a night if you tented. Well, bartender Nettles, myself, and uh, Dangeroso decided we were going to split a cabin. Like, I can't remember, maybe 40, 50 bucks a person, whatever it was. So we we all, you know, we get pizzas, we have uh, beers for the night, whatever, and we all turn in. Well, I go to use the restroom in the middle of the night, and I can't open the door. But it's not locked. I just can't open it. Well, I finally forced the door open enough. And there's my buddy bartender, passed out right there next to the toilet, holding the door closed with his bum. No, it was funnier than heck. I took a picture. I got rid of it, though. Other words, I'd include it. It was funny. Stupid little things happen like that all the time on trail. You, know, you go into town, have have your beers, and pass out. Somebody pass out. <sighs> Good life to, times to remember. Wish I was out there right now. If I hadn't bought, bought this van and built it out, I probably could have hiked the, the Pacific Crest Trail again. I love hiking those long trails. It's great. Out there forever by your, you know, by yourself with a group of good people. You know, you just walking north or south. Some people walk south. Okay, you guys uh, have been listening to me ramble probably long enough. All right, thank you again for watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing, liking. Helps the channel. And as, he, and as always... You guys have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow on Jelly Bean Outdoors.